April releases iOS 18.4 finally and this update is out for every other iPhone that supports iOS 18 starting from the iPhone XS up to the latest iPhones. So finally 18.4 is out and if you are using RC2 update the RC2 update will become the official update. So for the people who are using RC2 update you don't need to update if I go to the settings. I'm already using RC2 update, so I'm not seeing any sort of update as you can see. Even if I change my profile and go and check again, I'm not seeing any sort of update. But on my other iPhone, there is an iOS 18.4 update, which means that was on iOS 18.3.2, which means RC2 has become officially the 18.4. And if you are not using RC2, you are using any other update, you will get the update in the settings. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is new in this update but before that let's talk about the build number over here so build number is 22 e 240 as you can see and here are the details that what is new in this update and i'm going to talk about every other thing that what is new in this update now there are priority notifications so let's start with the priority notifications so when i go to the settings over here let me do something like this and go to the um, I go to the notifications over here. Now there are prioritized notifications as you can see. Sorry, my phone is over here. As you can see, you can turn this off. What it basically do, it uses Apple intelligence you get to give you the notifications that are important. As you can see, Apple intelligence can show you notifications that may be important in a separate section on the lock screen so you can catch up what you have missed. So they will be in a different section also if you don't want any app to give you Apple intelligence notifications like prioritize notifications you can turn that off from here but it is over here and I think it is going to be a very useful feature. I'm already testing this feature and I will be like doing some sort of a review for this feature very very soon on my channel. So yes prioritize notifications are over here. Now moving to the next thing. Sketch is now available as an additional style option in Image Playground, allowing you to create gorgeous sketch drawings. So when I go to the Image Playground over here, now there is a new option available of Sketch as you can see. Before there was animation, illustration and now there is also Sketch. So I'm just gonna create any sort of sketch over here. Maybe playing soccer. I don't know if it works or not. And I'm going to select the appearance from here. Done. Couple of things have been done over here. And this is how the sketch looks like. And for the comparison, let me convert into animation. And just to show you that how it looks like. This is how the animations look like. And this is how the illustration is going to be look like. And um, this sketch one is new over here with the iOS 18.4. Now moving to another one, Apple Intelligence features support 8 additional languages are 2 English locates including English for India, Singapore, French, France, Canada, German for Germany, Italian for Italy, Japanese for Japan, Korean for South Korea, Portuguese for Brazil, Simplified Chinese and Spanish for Spain, Latin America and US. Also Apple Vision Pro app is available for the users who do have Apple Vision Pro which is nice. Also, there are a lot of changes in the Apple News Plus. For example, there are recipes curated for many different dishes now available in the Apple News Plus. Recipe catalog allows you to browse or search to find perfect dish and save it to your saved recipes. And some more things available with the Apple News Plus. Unfortunately, I do not have Apple News Plus, so I cannot show you this one. There are significant changes in the uh, Photos app. Um, new filters to show or hide that items. Um, reorder items in the media types, consistent filtering option in all collections, and many more. So now I'm going to show you the changes or all of some of the changes in the Photos app. Over here into the utilities, when you go over here, now there is an edit button on top. As you can see, by tapping on this edit button, you can rearrange these things over here. If you want something like above as a thing, you can just tap and hold, and something like this, you can rearrange. Other than the Photos app, there are a lot of changes going on. There are new widgets for the Apple Podcast app. If you do use Apple Podcast app, you will be having more widgets option this time. So if I tap and hold on the screen, go, the, go to the edit one, edit widget. 
and go to the podcast now there are shows widget for the shows as you can see before there were just up next widgets now there are a library and there are shows these widgets are also available with the ios 18.4 if i go to the iMessage over here go to over here tap this over here now this gen moji button is also changed it has now a different ui that looks really really nice and it looks even better than the previous one it is also a little change but it is over there also now these signals are dynamic signals if the signal is low over here it will reflect over here too it is also very very nice data change which is available also when you go to the control center tap and hold over here now there are ambient music options available where there are different options available that are connected with the apple music and you can play different sort of stuff different sort of genre right from your control center in the apple music which is also very nice um i think spotify should do something like this too because many people are also using spotify everyone is not using apple music so this would be really great thing to see also when you go to the app store over here now you can resume or pause apps uh, uh, download the apps right from the app store so if i go and refresh over here just to show you i'm gonna like update this one over here as you can see it is updating i can tab over here and it resume is it not stops before it actually stops and you need to you know start it from a starting point but now you can resume it and it's a very small thing but a very very useful thing and it is also available also when you go to the control center over here add the control over here go all the way down over here the ui of these icons is different from the ios 18.3.2 some icons over here like speak screen dim flashing lights hover key uh, typing they these icons are also updated in the ios 18.4 which is also a really nice change that is available over here also when you are in safari and you type something over here it gives you a suggestion over here as you can see which is very nice and i think it is going to be very handy and very very useful these are some of the features that is available with the ios 18.4 there are more like if i go to over here and add a control over here there are changes in the apple intelligence as cd2 over here too and visual intelligence is available on the 15 pro and 15 pro max basically visual intelligence is iphone 16 model um feature but now with the ios 18.4 it is available on the iphone 15 pro and 15 pro max which is also very very nice to see so these are some of the things that are available with the um, iOS 18.4. Since this is an RC2 update that has become the public update, I'm using this update for a while and things are working really, really fine. Definitely, I will be bringing a real world test video by tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for that video. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.